Howdy friends, welcome back to the House of Tone. My name is Wes Lee. I'm a professional band instrument repair technician. I started a YouTube channel to document what my life is like in the trades. I appreciate you stopping by today. We got a new series that we're going to start. Cool old single piston bugle. Part one, let's go. So what we've got here is this really cool old single piston bugle that, as you can tell, has seen better days. The bell is very bad. The finish is very bad. Lots of dents. The slide doesn't appear that it was ever, it had a little bit of solder on it, but not much and a lot of corrosion inside there. This tube doesn't appear to have any solder residue inside. So the slides are frozen. We made a form to fit, and as soon as we touched this, the crook blew out. So I've been hitting this with penetrating oil for about six, five, six months now, since I got it into the shop. And now I've made a mouthpiece as a puller. I've soldered it to the inside of the slide. So we're going to try to get the slides out today so we can do the rest of the work. There's a lot of damage on this crook. The mouthpiece receiver is bent. This is the solder joint is, is broken. Um, so we have a long way to go on it and we're going to document hitting a little bit at the time. So this will be a fun series. So here we go. So what I'm going to do, since I soldered this mouthpiece as a puller, I'm going to chuck that in my vise, make it good and tight, and that's going to give me, I can hear it creaking, I see the bubbles move, there it is. Got it. Wow. Played hard, put away wet. Okay, now we'll get this tube out of here and Let that flux really boil it out. Hit it a couple of times. Now I've got to scrape and clean up inside the tube before I can solder it. Get all those decades of corrosion. It doesn't appear to be any solder. It appears to all be Now what I like to do when I'm using a plug is I actually like to heat the plug first and put a fresh coat of tin solder on.
as if I'm doing a regular solder joint. Okay, we'll let that cool, then we'll neutralize the flux. Hit with some penetrating oil and Try to clamp it in such a way that I can thinking about it. No go. Heat it up again, so pull some capillary action. Pull that penetrating oil down. I don't know how far this tube goes. Let that set for a little while and come back to it. There we go. Well, that's a really pleasant sound. There we go. Oh! It was the... It was the feral. That's just the way it be sometimes. Got a pretty big bite into that tube now. I thought that the tube itself was turning, but it may not have been. It may have been only that ferrule. We'll find out. Go ahead and hit it with some penetrating oil while it cools off. Okay. Well, let's see what we got again. All right, we got the pot.
go. Whoo! Boy, it's red with corrosion. See how it's, when it, the oil dries out? I can show, I can show what the tube looked like. You can heat it and dry the oil out. Now this also shows how well that penetrating oil does. That's the freeze corrosion cracker. But that's what the that's what all the buildup was inside the tube. My janky little homemade tool. Receiver and mouth pipe. The receiver is actually bent. Now I got a straight going here. Put your body into it and straighten that. But the receiver is actually bent. Okay. So. better but Get a little piston out of it <laughs> Look at that, kind of crunchy. Little brass pins on the, the water keys. So from here, let's get it uh, get it cleaned up. Get it in the chemical flush. Decades of corrosion. All right, here are our clean parts. Got rid of all that decades old nasty stuff. And then cleaned up. And this is just cleaned. We haven't brightened the patina or anything yet. Just got all that grunge off of it so that now we can actually see what we are dealing with and the bell rim that is the bell rim that is really messed up the flare that is just looks like it is had some just really bad things happen to it over its life cool shot of that logo So we've got some dents. For this customer, we're taking this crook off and we're gonna do these dents. We'll get whatever we can reach right down in here. We've got to resolder, resolder the receiver. I'm gonna to try to figure out a way that we can straighten this a little bit more. It's pretty straight, but I'd like for it to be a little bit better. Um, get get the piston taken care of, make sure it works, get the right corks and felts in it, new springs for the water keys. So all that's left to do is everything, but at least now with it clean and apart, we can see what it is that we're dealing with.
Well, all right, friends. Thanks for stopping by the House of Tone today. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. It's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Customer is going to be so thrilled to see this project. It is going to come out so good. It's got some scars, got some stuff that we got to overcome, but it's going to be fine. The tuning slide, we had to get pretty extreme and pretty drastic with that. But came out, came out good. Didn't have to make anything other than to cut down a mouthpiece to where I could get it between these tubes. I don't know if I mentioned that. I took an old, I believe it was an old Olds mouthpiece because of the way that it tapers. And I spun it on the lathe to cut it down so that I, the rim area would not hit on these tubes, but I would still have plenty of meat to chunk up on. So that was the only tool I've made so far for this guy. We'll see what the future holds. It's going to be a fun, 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 as Miss Christie called it, the Westeration. <laughs> That's mighty lofty. This will be a fun restoration to do. And uh, appreciate you sticking around and following along to see it through. Okay, everybody. Have a great one. This is Wesley signing out.